Hello, I'm Doug Reese. Welcome to the Swanee Tiger football video blog. Last Saturday, the Millsaps Majors traveled to Harris Stadium to take on the Swanee Tigers. The nationally ranked Majors defeated the Tigers 21 to 14. The Tigers played a good game, especially on the defensive side of the football. Now here's some highlights, and immediately following the highlights, we will have an interview with Coach John Boudreaux. I have with me linebackers coach John Boudreaux. John, thank you for coming on the video blog this week. Tell us about the game today. You know, the, the Tigers came up just one touchdown short today. They, they played a great defensive game against a good Millsaps team that's ranked in the nation and leading the conference. Well, yeah, you know, we uh, came in all week. We have a good running back. You know, he's gotten a lot of accolades in the last couple of weeks. And, you know, he was the point of our focus. We really wanted to slow down the run game. And, you know, as a defense, we did a good job of that. Throughout most of the game, you know, he broke off a couple here and there. But overall, it was a good team effort. And you know, guys are making plays. And, you know, it was fun for the most part on the side of the field. So tell us about the play of the linebackers. Right. No, they played well. Um, you know, they wanted to come down and ground, ground and pound the ball, you know, try to run it down. As, but, uh, you know, Dave McKeithen, Emmanuel Bell, Tony Dykes, you know, Grant Fuller, Nick Rusher, they all played a really good game. You know, they were aggressive, physical, and we tackled well, which always helps. You got to wrap up good backs. So overall, I mean, it wasn't a bad performance. You know, you want to get the W, obviously, but the effort was there. You know, we can work with that. Now, John, you're in a little bit different situation than most of the coaches because you were a student here at Swanee, and you trans, you you changed. You had a transition from student to coach, and this is your first year on the coaching staff. What's that like for you to be able to coach? at the school that you attended? It's very special. I mean, it's a great opportunity that uh, Coach Laurentine was you know, able to give me. I'm very fortunate to be here. And the guys have been great. You know, it's not easy to play for somebody who you played with for three years. But uh, I can ask more for the guys. They've been awesome. You know, they play hard, work hard. So really, you know, it's been a lot easier of a transition than I thought it was going to be. Well, it was good to have you on the blog hey, today. Appreciate and it. And thank you very much for coming by. No problem. Now it's time for this week's player interviews. This week, we're going to be interviewing senior safety Quentin Jones, who has played a pivotal part in the defense this year, and also sophomore running back Andy Moots, who gets the hard yards for the Tigers. Hey, it's our pleasure to have senior Quentin Jones. Quentin, you, you have been outstanding this year on defense. We know that you've missed a few games. How did it feel to be back today? Uh, basically, it was, a, it was a rush move. I want to be back with my fellow teammates. I try to do everything, rehab, uh, out the class and going to the training room and get back. So it felt pretty good. Got the day. My ankles a little bit, but you know, I'll it, so, you know, happy to be back. Well, it's really good to see you on the field today. Uh, one of the some of the plays that you made, uh, one of the plays that really stands out was a play where you hit the running back in the backfield off of a blitz. Tell us about that play. Uh, I was telling uh, Coach from the sideline to call the blitz, like every play, because I, I like it. And on that play, I just came scout free and running back was running away, so I just took all I had in my system to go get him. And got him back to it. So tell us, Quentin, about what life is like for you here on the mountain at Swanee. Uh, there's a lot of great people here. Um, 
Uh, the mission went out the back, Curtis Johnson, when I first came, he was here to take me up on his wings, teach me all this things. And, and my brother's here with me, so he helps out a lot, and I help him out a lot. So all my friends around here, they just complimenting me on everything I do, complimenting them too. So it's pretty great. Well, an unforgettable experience. You have had a great season so far this year, and I know that you're going to do great in the next two games. Congratulations. Thank you. We have sophomore running back Andy Moots with us. Andy, thank you for coming on the video blog today and spending some time with us. You are the running back that gets the hard yards. You uh, had a key block to get Curtis into the end zone. Tell us about that play. Well, Curtis was pretty much moving the ball down the whole field. He was playing great, running hard. We were on the goal line and we called it to him again. And uh, I was just able to get uh, stopped the middle linebacker so Curtis was able to go on in and score like he's running hard like he has been the whole day. So that's pretty much. Now you mainly block and, and get the hard yards and sometimes that's not the, the glorious uh, position to play but you do the work when it needs to be done. Now tell us what you feel like after a game. What do you go through after a game? Well, in our offense, I, I either get the ball or I get tackled every play. So I'm usually I'm pretty beat up after the games. Um, Got to ice a lot, pretty sore, um, icy hot all over the place. Um, so, but we just have our role on the team, and you know I'm just happy to be part of this tradition. So. Well, you know you've done a great job this year, and I want you to tell us what your life like, what your what life is like on the mountain here. Um, <clears throat> Well, Swanee's a great, great school, incredible people, uh, the kindest people you'll meet. So I love hanging out with my friends. Uh, also, the books keep me pretty busy, um, keeping my grades up. Uh, I got a gown this year, which was awesome. And uh, it's just between football and hanging out with friends and studies, that's pretty much my life up here. But I love every minute of it, and I want to trade it for the world. Well, thank you for coming on the video blog with us today. This week's big hit goes to junior Denard Ford. Denard had a big hit in the second quarter to keep the majors from gaining yardage.